Hello Cardinal fans, I'm Kyle Sellers and welcome to this week's edition of Trip Central presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. Women's Volleyball brought home a MAC championship with a win over Bowling Green. Kyle Holder was named the tournament MVP as the Cardinals rallied for the victory. Van Beek blocked and Bowling Green has taken the opening set. We had this little bit of a struggle there um, at the end of that one set. I just felt like we never thought for a moment we weren't going to win this match. And we just had full belief, full confidence all the way. And it's such a team effort. I mean, I'm just so proud of these girls. Ball State takes set number two. And the Cardinals, the fourth seed in the tournament, have a two sets to one advantage. Ball State controls the serve, right side, and Bowling Green can't dig it out. Ball State, your 2019 Mid-American Conference Tournament Champions. Athletic Director Beth Getz joined in on the Cardinals celebration after the game. The Cardinals won their first MAC tournament since 2002. Victory Honda of Muncie is proud to support the student athletes at Ball State and the students in Sportsland. For more info, visit VictoryMuncie.com. Women's basketball is in the Bahamas for Thanksgiving, playing in the Bahamas Hoop Fest. Jasmine Sam's decision to come back for a fifth year of eligibility has paid off immensely for Coach Sally and the Cardinals. There's no more senior season number two. <laughs> This is the last one, so, I mean, you don't know what injuries are going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen to other teams, so you just, day by day, uh, what do we have to do to get better today so we can be better tomorrow? Believe me when I tell you, I think she can go anywhere in the world and take it over. The sky's the limit for her, and I'm going to have fun watching her in that next step. But she's given me more than I ever would have asked for. And so the fun in this whole thing will be for me to sit back and hopefully watch the impact our program has on her life and her career because uh, I think it's going to be a special one. Thanksgiving week means the men's basketball team is ready to chow down on some of their favorite foods too. Here's a look from our exclusive series, The Process. Being around family usually, I've, I've kind of uh, taken that for granted a little bit in my life just like since I came to college I've kind of realized how important it is to be around family and Thanksgiving. Probably the food. Um, my favorite type, I'd say it's uh, probably a ham. I'm not a big turkey guy. It's kind of dry, but definitely the ham. I'd probably say ham. You know, most people probably say turkey, but I'm not a real turkey fan. Um, I like ham the most. Macaroni, definitely. Uh, bacon. Oh, for Thanksgiving, uh, I would say macaroni and cheese. Speaking of food, Ball State football's Danny Pinter made the transition from tight end to offensive lineman a couple of years ago. The senior shows us his new appetite in a Sportslink story coming soon. They kind of they got me after a team meeting at the end of the year, and it had kind of always been in the back of my mind because it was partially joked about, but partially um, some more serious talks about it. So it was always in the back of my mind as a possibility, so just kind of embraced it right away. Well, we get so many meals for us now for football. Yeah. We don't cook a ton. Kind of stand, you kind of just got to be eating throughout the day. It's the key. Um, Coach Armour, Coach Gilbert, Coach Schmidt kind of have plans for everyone that you got to stay on. At least five meals a day, for sure. A lot of carbs. We weigh in before every lift. Well, he didn't like necessarily set a weight at first. He said, let's just kind of roll with this and see how it goes. Kyle Mallers lit the Worthen Nets on fire this past week as he shot 12 of 17 from deep to earn Co Mac West Player of the Week honors. The senior averaged 20 points per game over two games, and the Cardinals have two games remaining in their five-game home stretch. Here are this week's four players to watch across Ball State sports. Sticking with Mallers, he scored a career-high 24 points off of eight threes Saturday versus Howard. Entering the week, he was shooting 55% from three this year. Senior leader Jasmine Sams was a focal point of the Cardinals offense, scoring a season-high 16 points against Butler. Sams is nearing the 700-point mark in her three-year Ball State career. The Cardinals take on Lehigh and Wisconsin over Thanksgiving. 
Junior running back Caleb Huntley eclipsed the 1,000 yard mark on the ground this season versus Kent State. It is his second time in his career that he has rushed for over 1,000 yards. Senior Jacob White has been a staple on Ball State's defense, racking up 113 tackles, good for seventh in the country. White suits up for his 45th and final game at Schumann Stadium Friday in the Redbird rivalry. From all of us in SportsLink and Victory Honda of Muncie, happy Thanksgiving. We will see you next week with Chirp Central. Chirp, chirp.